Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is gonna be a very quick and easy setup guide for all of the policy pages that you will find on any website. This is needed if you want to advertise, you need these pages. You will not be accepted onto Google Ads if you don't have these pages. Fortunately for us, Shopify makes this very, very easy, but there are a couple of things that you need to know. So. Once you're on the back end of your Shopify store, click on settings and then just go down here to the bottom and click policies. This has changed recently, which is the main reason I'm making this video because the old videos are no longer relevant because they're out of date. So you wanna just click on uh, create policy here and it's pretty obvious that it's gonna be the kind of legal um, like standard. So this is fine because this is the legal thing. You can see, so before we actually do this, you wanna make sure that all of your store details are set up properly. Uh, so the store email address is the right email address. The store currency is the right currency. You wanna make sure that everything is correct first and then we go to policies. And yeah, we're gonna create this from template. So because we're doing print on demand, uh, I do print on demand anyway, you will need to add something like um, personalized items cannot be refunded. So if we have some kind of personalized uh, thing or whatever it might be, then you might want to add certain uh, rules. So just make sure that you read the refund policy and make sure that it has everything that you need it for, everything that you need from it. Privacy policy, this will just take everything from your store and it will just automatically put it into a legal format. Shopify is not stupid, so they know that they, uh, they have to be careful here. Uh, so they have to make sure that everything is actually correct. It looks like there's a lot of um, like delete here, so just be careful here. So yeah, this kind of thing, um, just be careful. You're gonna have to actually add some details here. You can't just skip through this. So um, yeah, it says here, insert information about other service providers. So for example, uh, we might have to put Google Analytics here. So yeah, ex insert if applicable. You're gonna have to delete these things, otherwise it's just gonna look stupid, basically. But just go through and uh, make sure that um, it looks correct because you got to remember people do read these stuff sometimes. So like here as well, we do do not engage in fully automated decision making that has a legal or otherwise significant effect using customer data. So if you're using some kind of AI to make your decisions in marketing, then you'd have to put do. But if you're doing everything manually here, then uh, do not, obviously. So just make sure that you go through this, make sure um, that it works for you, make sure you delete everything that needs to be deleted. It's just use your common sense, basically. So you can delete this if you want, because uh, yeah, you need to delete all these kind of things as you're going through. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Just make sure you delete all the bits they've added and um, make sure you follow their instructions, basically. In terms of service is the same. Um, I already have a terms of service, it seems. But yeah, it's the same kind of deal. Uh, this one should be a lot easier and you shouldn't have to change anything because I think it's kind of the same for every website, whereas the other one is a little bit different depending on like what tracking software and cookie software you're using. That's why um, privacy policy is more complicated than terms of service. Terms of service is like, this is just Shopify's um, terms of services, basically. Shipping policy, they have uh, left blank because it depends on you, basically. So just whatever your shipping policy is for your store, then this gives you freedom to create your own shipping policy. So my shipping policy is I will accept uh, returns within 14 days of the package arriving, hassle-free. Um, label is return, label is in the box, or whatever it might be. You can have a look at some shipping policies online, but yeah. Contact information, I want to hit create from template here, but it's gonna dox me. I'm just gonna do it anyway, whatever. Um, so this will just take, uh, 
the information from your website again. I'm not going to scroll down because there's my old address on there. And then I'm going to hit save. This is not the end of this, uh, what we actually have to do though, because if I click on uh, online store and we have a quick look at my online store, you'll see the privacy policy, they're not here. You can't find them. They're literally useless to us right now. And um, Google states that they must be on either in your footer or in your menu. So let's add them to our menu by hitting navigation. And I'm going to add them to the footer. So I'm just going to click on footer. I'm going to add a menu item and um, we can call this uh, policies. So there's two ways to do this. Uh, actually, I won't do it like that. Let's just do it the normal way. So just click on link here and click on policies and then just click on contact information and then add it and then add another menu item. Click here, scroll down policies, just add them all one by one. And we'll just do up to refund policy. I won't do them all because I'm sure you get the idea. I'm going to refresh that hit refresh here as well. And then there you go. It's that easy, guys. Uh, we're now done. We now have our privacy policy, our refund policy, contact information, and then obviously we would add the other ones. The other way that you can do this is what I was going to say was you can nest these inside each other. So let me just delete all of them quickly so that I can show you what I mean. Add menu item. We're going to call this menu item policies. And I'm just going to add that if I can. No. Okay, it does actually need a page, which is kind of annoying. I'll just put it to go to privacy policy, I guess. And then we're going to add the other ones one by one and we're going to nest them and we're going to see how that looks. So we'll nest contact information under policies and we'll see what happens there. No, that's terrible. Okay, so ignore what I was just saying. Um, but yeah, you can see here privacy policy. This is now a really nice and juicy privacy policy, which should cover us legally hashtag not legal advice. Okay, that's it guys. I hope this helps you create the final touches to your store before you launch and before you apply to Google Ads. Be very, very careful with applying to Google Ads because it can go wrong. And yeah, just be careful. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. And peace. One more thing I forgot to mention is, um, yeah, the thing with Google ads, it went wrong with me and I think I have a big problem with Google ads. Um, so just be really, really careful if you're using the Google, um, sales channel. So if I click on sales channel and type in Google here, this is the Google sales channel. Just be really, really careful, um, when you're setting it up, because if you get it wrong, there's potential that you will not be able to get on to Google in the future. So take your time with it, make sure everything's correct, make sure everything is set up properly, make sure the countries that you're targeting fit the country that you are targeting in Shopify as well. That's a really, really important part of it. And yeah, just be careful guys, because if you mess it up, it's, it's a problem. So this here store currency has to match with the country that you are targeting in Merchant Center and on Google ads. Anyway, that's it for this video. Hope this helps and peace out.